Uh, it started in 2009. After we played the Super Bowl, I wrote a little essay for a website. I felt like I found a, a good voice to write in with it. I said, well, maybe I'll try to write a little bit more in that voice and see where it takes me, you know? And I didn't have any idea of whether it was gonna be a book or something else, maybe just something for the kids, you know? So I just started, went back to the, what I felt was the beginning and slowly started to write, you know? And uh, I think after two or three weeks, I had a little bit of something that I could look at and say, hmm, that's, that, that feels pretty workable. And then after that, I, I wrote intermittently for seven years, you know, and uh, there was no rush. Mainly I was just trying to write as well as I could and having all that time to do it kind of gave me a chance to come back to it fresh. Even for, for my original manuscript, everything was rewritten two or three times. Very similar to the songwriting process in that, you know, you write down your first thoughts, which is your blueprint, and you see if you have something that's that can be worked on, you know, and then I'll go back and I'll get into each verse and I'll rewrite it. And so the, the book was, was very similar to that. There were sections that kind of just came flying out and there, the hardest part was the, the third book where you had to write about the present because it's all people you're living with in your life today. And that was the most challenging part of the book I found. I, I, I think writing about stuff that was in the past, you just felt like you had a lot of freedom there, you know. Once again, you had to find the right voice to write about.